on to center stage. WCW Saturday night is on the air. Jim Ross and Larry Zabisco with you here in Atlanta on West Peach Street. And Larry, that big man event in this broadcast. And that's the one I'm waiting for. We can see Armageddon right here tonight. But right now, let's go up to our ring announcer, Tony Gillen. Ladies and gentlemen, our ring contest is set for one fall. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. If you haven't hit record yet, now Ouch. might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. As a member of the Guerrero family, Eddie was born into sports entertainment royalty. He competed in Mexico, Japan, ECW, WCW, and made a shocking WWE debut in 2000. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Oh, nasty impact. When Eddie Guerrero arrived in WWE, the second generation superstar was ready to launch his assault on sports entertainment. Eddie also became known as Latino Heat. Eddie held the Intercontinental and European Championships as well as tag team gold with different partners. At 2004's No Way Out, Guerrero did the unthinkable and defeated Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. He looks a bit off his game Ooh. here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Looking for the finish. Don't you dare get up, man. There he goes, crashing to the floor. High impact crossbody. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. Beautiful technique. Of all the highlights of Eddie Guerrero's career, 2004's No Way Out event shines brighter than all the rest. Guerrero achieved the unthinkable after a five-star frog splash defeated Brock Lesnar 
and brought him the coveted WWE Championship. He wants no part of the outside. And it's reversed. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Targeting the back. Very effective. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has Man. plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Drop down. Leapfrog. Not leapfrog. When this guy's on, look out. him down in a major way too he's got the shoulders down looking to steal one there perhaps too soon drop kick hits the mark looks like he's starting to tire he's always up for a challenge and tonight is no different that confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared and with good reason he's taken quite a beating Eddie Guerrero oh we know what he's doing Michael Go for the second. And with the completion, we see. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. He's looking at it. This might be it. Oh, my. He's back in control here. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Incoming. Ooh, what if Kenny do it here? This singles contest has a victor. 